hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga and today we are going to do a nude makeup look it's not a nude makeup look it's a no makeup makeup look and to start off i'm going to start by spraying my face with this maybelline fix it spray which is actually a setting spray but i just decided to moisturize my face with it first if at all it moisturizes but you know sometimes you've got to try things Next, I'm just going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Luminous and Smooth Primer. And I love this primer because it has a dewy finish. It doesn't have a matte finish. So it's really nice if you want to create like a natural looking effect, like a healthy skin. As you can see, the skin has a really natural glow to it after you've finished like uh, mixing it all up in your skin. And then next, I'm just going to pick up some of this bronzer and I'm going to apply it using a spoolie on my eyebrows just to dry off the eyebrow area before I proceed with my eyebrows. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using a pencil. I'm not going to draw an outline because I want a really, really natural effect. Uh, because this is supposed to be a no makeup makeup look, you're supposed to fool people that you don't have any makeup. So I'm just filling in the brows without drawing an outline. Then I'm going to go in with my usual eyebrow wax, which I normally use the pastel eyebrow mascara. And this is the shade dark brown. This is a mascara that I just bought off Jumia. It's an eyebrow mascara. It's not for eyelashes. And then after that, I'm just going to draw the outline or to highlight uh, the eyebrow and I'm only highlighting the lower part of the eyebrow and I've used the Maybelline uh, not the Maybelline the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn which has always been my go-to shade for highlighting the eyebrows and after that of course we have to clean the area with a brush and that's just what I did and then I'm going to go back in with that eyebrow mascara and I'm going to now brush upwards okay for the previous one i had brushed to the side but now i'm brushing upwards and i noticed that this has a better effect of making the brows look more natural i'm now just going to use this maybelline fit me concealer in the shade caramel uh, that i'm going to use as an eyeshadow primer and i've also applied eyeshadow on one side of the face as you can see and i'm proceeding to apply apply sorry apply on the other side of the face uh, and this is just a bright orange eyeshadow that looks so much like my skin and then i'm going to go in with that maroon shade that you've seen to apply in the outer corners of my eye just to create like a gradient effect and to create a uh, yeah basically just a gradient effect of eyeshadow and then i'm going to go in with this really light eye uh, orange shade and i'm applying it in the inner corners of my eye and then after you've applied all those three shades right make sure that you blend properly because this is not a cut crease and it's supposed to look like your natural eyelids so blend properly and that's what i'm using with this brush and whenever you're blending makeup, take your sweet time. It's not something that you're supposed to rush in. Take your sweet time and make sure that everything is nicely blended until we have a natural looking eye, 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 eyelid, yes. Because as I've said, this is a no makeup makeup look. So make sure that your eyelids look as natural as possible. That's why I chose colors that are close to my skin tone. The colors that I used were from the Revolution Reloaded palette in the sh uh, the sh the the shades are called Marvelous Mattes. Yeah, they don't have specific shade names. Now we're going to do the eyes and we're going to start off with this Maybelline Colossal Kajal um, eyeliner. And I'm just going to line my waterline, both my upper and lower waterline because it creates such a beautiful effect as you're going to see. Nobody's going to know it's makeup. <laughs> They'll just think that you have naturally dark water lines. I'm not going to draw any wing today because this is a no makeup. And as you can see, it turned out gorgeous, gorgeous. And then next, I'm just going to apply some, um, uh, just brush out using a spoolie, my eyelashes. Then put on some really natural looking eyelashes. And then although close up, it's not going to be natural looking. But you can obviously get smaller lashes or even go without lashes altogether and apply a huge coat of mascara. But for mascara, I'm doing my lower lashes and I've just used the Maybelline uh, mascara. I believe it's called Mega Colossal Mascara. And then for foundation, I'm using my usual Clinique foundation in um in the shade Spice. This is the better, uh, even better foundation in the shade Spice. As you can see, it's the closest one to my natural skin tone. And then we are going to highlight and contour. And for highlighter, I'm just using this nyx highlighter and it is in the shade universal this is the um what is it called it's the nyx highlight and contour stick in the shade universal and for the highlight part it's just like 
a highlighter basically it's not like a um, what is it called a concealer it really really has like shimmers in it and that's why i picked it because it will have a dewy finish to it and we want this skin to be as natural looking as possible so i'm just going to tap that in and i've just highlighted my uh low, my the lower part of my eyes uh below my eyelashes and also my nose and my chin and upper part of my lip so those are the places i've highlighted and i'm just make sure that you blend 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 then we are just going to put in a little bit of blush uh, just to add some colors you can see that the face is really really flat so i'm just gonna put a little bit although i could have added a little bit more but i wanted a really natural finish so i've just uh, tapped it in basically we're using like a beauty blender a damp beauty blender i'm just going to tap in that blush and the blush i've used is actually the crayola one in the shade is it very cherry yes very cherry finally for highlighter i'm going to use the nyx high glass illuminating powder in the shade golden hour and it has a really really natural finish it it, it doesn't leave your face extremely shiny it just has a really natural glow as you can see and that's the one i've chosen and then next we're going to do our lips because we are through with our skin and we are starting off with our concealer uh, just to like create an even base and i normally apply very little concealer because you don't want your lipstick to cake and then i'm just going in with like a dark brown pencil just to out outline my lips and to create like a gradient effect after that of course we are going to blend our lips so make sure that you've blended your uh, your pencil thoroughly and then next we're going to use a maybelline lipstick and this is in the shade amazonian this is an uh, super stay matte lipstick by maybelline and this is their amazonian shade and it's just like a beautiful nude shade that's not very flattering on my skin tone so i normally use it like to blend when i'm blending different colors so i'm continuing to go in with the pencil just to continue creating a gradient effect and then after that we blend 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 again and then after that we are going to use another lipstick so after the blending we are going to go in with another uh, lipstick and it's also by maybelline but it's in their sensational range and this one is in the shade keep it mellow which is basically also another shade that doesn't flatter me on its own but when combined with other colors is perfect and finally to top it up and create some shiny lips i'm going to apply the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade crystal and i love that shade because it's just a natural brownish shade of uh, gloss and i've just applied it only around my lips so guys that is the final look i did do a bit of bronzer to reduce the forehead but as you can see i look super natural no one will actually know i have makeup on they'll just think maybe i have a gloss on and yeah that's the finished look basically i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to comment down below which look i should try next and thanks for watching